Hello everyone, this is Gage from Gondorian Smith, and today we're going to be bringing, or today we're going to be playing the uh, part 9, I believe, of our Let's Play of the Last Days of the Third Age Overhaul mod for Mountain Blade Warband. And currently, you can see that we've got Prince Emmerhill here, as well as maybe Orthalian, it looks like, maybe wanting to try to retake West Asgillian. So if we're able to do so, or if we're able to do that, I'm definitely going to try, but currently, I think we're actually going to attack this Mordor prisoner train. They actually have 80 men, but there's only 70 or 68 to be exact that are actually available to the fight oh these two groups are here oh we're gonna wait a second now we'll, we'll just jump right in the second prisoner train will probably end up helping out but we're just gonna jump right in anyway oh looks like they did not so this will be a real relatively easy because the prisoner trains as a whole have pretty low tier stuff so we're just gonna go and tell everyone to follow me um i believe for this particular map they spawn yeah right over here so, archers can go right here. Cavalry is not really going to be super useful in the infantry thing right here. And wow, I am very weak. I did notice a comment that I sh uh, suggesting that I should maybe rest once an episode so I don't get, you know, like instantly KO'd <laughs> pretty much in fights. And honestly, that's probably a pretty smart idea because I do get knocked out a lot. In fact, probably get knocked out right here if I'm not careful. archers there we're gonna get a lot of kills i think with our archers and i don't know what there's our captain of peller gear but i don't actually know what the uh glass scale or whatever his name is has we have a lot of squires here and that's very nice we even have i believe one knight of dilemma as well as maybe a knight or two of gondor we're just gonna go ahead and tell our infantry to charge as well as our cavalry because you can see that um the lord that is with us is already charging so we might as well get in here a little bit of horse archery while we're at it and this is definitely not the best bow but it is, it is one of the few human bows i believe that you can actually use while being on a horse which is kind of nice oh i just got knocked out but again that's okay because we're gonna win anyway there's a nice kill from the knight of gondor hopefully gonna be able to be upgraded to a veteran knight relatively quickly and yeah this is just a wash this one was really easy uh, as a whole, the prisoner trains have a lot of like orc snaga, which I believe is the lowest tier. So this is, whenever we attack prisoner trains, it's going to be relatively easily easy to uh, win, I believe. <laughs> Fortunately, our cavalry here just allowing this man to uh, route off the field. And there we go, battle easily won. So we can go ahead and back out now. Yep, good to see you here too. Veteran squire, footman, and bowman. Do we have any watchmen that we can drop? There's a veteran squire. Veteran Squire. We'll actually just drop the normal Squire for a Veteran Squire. And do we have any Watchmen of Gondor? Swordsman. Gondor Watchmen, we have one. So we'll just drop the one Watchmen for our footman. We'll take all of this. We'll leave the low grade. And maybe we'll actually go after this party as well. But we'll upgrade another Swordsman. We have another Knight. And so far, things are looking pretty good. Ooh, they actually are attacking that. So we're going to quickly get over with, get this battle over with, and then we're going to go jump right into Wessels Gillies and hopefully retake that. Come on. Come on. Oh no, they made it. That's unfortunate. However, we're just going to jump in this fight anyway. There's only like 78, so I believe we're going to win this pretty easy. Oh. I'm too injured to actually get in a fight. I guess we'll just order them to get in there. Castle remains in enemy hands, and we lost a veteran ranger. Um, okay, that's kind of unfortunate. Well, I guess we'll get in this fight, maybe... Oh, shoot. Uh, wait, no, what's this? Our party has witnessed orcs eating prisoners. Your party has morale is gained to do hatred. And yeah, we'll just quickly win this fight really easy. Uh, I'm kind of pissed that we did lose that veteran ranger. And there was a big war party behind us. So we may not actually even be able to... Um, help siege west of goliath but i'd really like to um but we'll have to see how that goes cavalry back here and i'm going to stay out of the fight um as i say that i hear arrows whizzing over my head but yeah i want to stay out of the fight because i do actually want to be able to take part in that siege of west of goliath because as, as you saw we didn't even take west of goliath once we actually just kind of started it right away we'll actually just tell our infantry to charge i'm just gonna be there 
Um, and yeah, we are definitely going to lose troops in this in the uh, siege, I believe, but hopefully we won't lose too many. You can see our troops definitely gaining in quality. We've got a lot of swordsmen. We still have a number of footmen. And there goes another veteran ranger. What the hell? We're going to have to get some more archers, it looks like. What is happening? Did I tell my archers to charge or something? We just lost like four rangers. No, they killed. They were killed by orc archers. What the hell? Um... <laughs> Okay, I guess we need to pick up some more archers, evidently. That is, um, not cool. Don't get killed. Jeez. Not okay. We lost a lot of our archers there. And again, it was all pretty much rangers, but still, I don't like that. Why are we taking so many casualties? I said I wasn't going to get in the fight, but look at me just charging all these snog anyway. Again, these guys are so low tier, I'll be able to just one tap most of these guys here. And I was gonna maybe want to go after that war party that was chasing us, but now that we lost so many archers, I don't really think I want to do that anymore. Oh my goodness! <laughs> right at the end, again, I keep. I'm being too aggressive, honestly. I should probably just sit back, um, and probably I'll rest up. Maybe if we take we'll retake West Coast I'll just kind of rest up in there for a while. Yeah, we won that one easy. Come on, it's the last man, I believe in you. There you go. Good job. Veteran swordsman. But yeah, how did we... We lost three rangers and a veteran ranger, as well as some other guys that just got injured. Hey, you're welcome. Oh, we got our veteran ranger back, I guess. Veteran swordsman. Three swordsmen. One veteran archer. No, it's like everything for now. And again, we're gonna take all of the good quality. And here's this warp party. Because they've gotten Olag high, and they've got some higher tier units, so. West of Gilead is gonna get taken back. But I would like to get in there. I wanna get in here really quickly. Please. No, darn it. We were just there, but still, we were able to retake it. Um, we'll go to the barracks really quickly. No troops. Okay. Um, no, actually, I don't want to talk to the guild master. but the smiths. We will sell whatever we can. Ooh, 37 attack. 3,000 resource points. I might actually get that. We'll sell everything we can. And I mean, like, literally everything. <laughs> and then we'll probably help out against that Mordor war party. Um, so, yeah, we're getting 3,600 or 3,900. So, if we pick this up. Uh, we'll keep this, and we're still getting 866, which is honestly just about <laughs> where they're um, running out of. Gondor Bracers, might want to pick some of those up later on, but um, I think that's good for now. Go ahead and leave, and we have retaken West Osgiliath, so that's very good. Uh, I should probably ask uh, what's these guys here, and yeah, look at all those prisoners. There were like 140 prisoners, and all of them went to Orthalian as well as... Um, We'll just jump in this fight real here, uh, really quickly here. We're, we're just going to let our allies do most of the fighting. Because Osgiliath can tend to be really confusing for a lot of the times. So maybe we'll actually, actually I take it back, maybe we'll ride around and try to kill the Olaghai. Because the Olaghai can kill a lot of troops very easily. Um, so we'll, maybe we'll try to go around the edge here. Maybe try to snipe the Olaghai. And the good thing is... Um, we will be able to pick up some more units to replace our dead archers really quickly. And oh, look at all those orcs trying to flee from the battle. I might actually just... Oh, are they all running away? Yeah, they're all running away. Okay, I'm just going to get right in here, I think. Because when they're running away, they actually can't attack me. Most these guys are all disappearing, of course, as you can see. But all the ones stuck on this rock... There's, there's an Uruk. Come here. Want to kill the big guys. Oh, shoot. Nazgul is here. All right. <laughs> Easy pickings here. Just a pretty much an experience farm. But hey, it's fine with me. Getting to test out our new sword. And we're actually one-shotting a lot of these people, which is nice. Not all of them, of course, but it's, we are doing a lot of damage here. And just look at this point farm, we're killing so many of these big guys. The big Uryx, and that's very nice. Here comes some of my allied troops. 
And there we go, we actually ranked up once. Again, we're just, this is just a big old, pretty much, experience farm. Unfortunately, because the invisible wall can't get over here. But, I do have a bow and arrow. That I can just shoot these guys with. Oh, the Nazgul. Bowmen of Gondor killed in the Nazgul attack. I sincerely hope that was not my bowman. But it very well could have been. And in that case, we're going to have to pick up, we're gonna have to pick up more <laughs> archers. Well, that was extraordinarily easy. Um, the Olakai, I think, killed one or two of my allies, but for the most part, it was nothing too bad. Which is actually kind of surprising. And yes, luck luckily, none of those troops were ours. We have 29 routed. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, we definitely need food. And we'll give this to uh, Cyrodiil, because he doesn't have any weapon at all, I believe. Um, but really quickly, we will... Oh, I can upgrade, of course. Cyrodiil. How's it going, man? Let me see your equipment. I don't even know if you can use this. I hope you can. Yes, you can. Um, do you have anything else to give you? No, we do not, unfortunately. Okay, never mind. Um, what can we... We'll go for leadership again. And we will also buff, I guess... Pull arms? Why not? We might pick up a lance or something along the line, but we can't even upgrade it that much. Um, however, I think now we are going to... Talk to one of these lords. We'll talk to Prince Emerhill first. You're welcome. Any tasks for me? Uh, rescue eight prisoners. Uh, sorry. Actually, we'll take that quest. I mean, it's kind of difficult. Oh, I guess I can't take it anymore. Please? Please? Okay, whatever. Uh, we'll ask the other lords what they've got for us. I believe we actually can turn in a quest to him. Yeah, gave him his punishment. Uh, yep, no worries, man. 13 ring points plus 2 influence. Actually, he actually really likes me. Uh, we're technically just cooperative, but still. Um, do you have any tasks for me? Six veteran swordsmen. Sorry, I can't do that. I don't want to give away my own troops. Um, or Thalion, do you have a quest for me? No worries, man. Six swordsmen of Gondor. I don't want to do I, I don't like those quests, honestly. Um, but we'll actually rest up in West of Gilead here. You can see we only have 78 men in here, so that's not really, really super great. But we'll rest in here for a little while. For a little while. Oh, where's that prisoner train? Um, we've got 9% health. <laughs> that is not really the best. Oh, that is not a lot of orcs. Uh, okay, now there's more. <laughs> that's... I wish we could attack one of these parties because you can see there's these are four separate lords. There's a war party. They looted my items apparently. Um, Skang, Farquhar the Bastard, Captain Mortok, and then Gothmog. Yeah, they do not have a lot of troops. But do they have any Olag High? Because if they don't have Olag High, we, we could honestly probably just sit in West Osgiliath and beat the siege. But we're going to move along. These scouts are going to try to catch us so that the... Um, Lords maybe can get after us. Come here. Come here. I want you to maybe bring one lord with you, but not multiple, please. Not multiple. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Ninety-nine. Skang. Uh, we have fifty-four versus ninety-nine. This will be. I think this will be fine. Uh, I got two more scouts plus Skang's host, who I believe was the biggest host, but we'll be able to do this. Definitely. Wow, we have a lot of cavalry. Okay, archers. Three over there. Infantry right there. We need more archers. We had like 18, but since we lost like four of them, we only have like, what, what is that now? 14? <laughs> so, I mean, we still have a decent amount, but compared to everything else, I think we need more archers. Look at all those orcs. Infantry, get a little bit closer, please. Um, cavalry, follow me. We're going to try to get a little bit of a charge off, maybe onto the archers real quickly here. And actually, I would love for the main portion of my army to go over here. So, archers, get over here. Infantry, behind. Not that far behind, though. Right there. I'm going to rally my troops real quickly here. See, there are quite a few orcs, but they don't have a ton of cavalry. They've got the few, like the nine Condish scouts, but for the most part, I we definitely outnumber them in terms of cav, which is good. 
Come on, archers, I really need you to start getting some good kills in. Oh. Squire of Dol Amroth. That's no good. And there we go, look at our archers go to town. That is what I like to see. Come on, cavalry, turn around, man. Put your shields up. So we're going to tell our cavalry to charge, because they're just going to go straight into these archers here. And then after they are done killing these archers, we will tell them to come back. Knight of Gondor, what is wrong with you, brother? Now we need some more cavalry to... I need to pick up some more cavalry as well. Okay, there goes me. Okay, we're gonna back out here. Veteran Squire, Knight of Dol Amroth, Knight of Gondor. Wow, why are we losing so many troops? 47 versus 71. This is not, this should not be a difficult fight. <sighs> okay, after this, we definitely need to go back to Minas Tirith and get a bunch more recruits. Um, but we need to go up here, and I keep getting knocked out, and that is not good. Come on, guys. Uh, thankfully, we did kill most all of their archers in that last fight. And the freaking orc archers just keep getting lucky hits on me, and that is not what I need right now. Um, we're going to take the hill advantage. And again, we did end up killing most of their archers. I think. <laughs> I hope, I should say. And man, I'm so pissed that we lost a Knight of Dol Amroth as well as a Knight of Gondor, as well as a Squire. We're losing cavalry, and that is not good. Still, though, I think we'll be able to pull this off. But it'll be de it'll be gruesome. It'll be real gruesome. Those twenty or so scouts from both Mordor and I think nine were from Khand are proving to actually be kind of a big difference maker, honestly. Archers are really getting peppered down here and they're not getting kills. You can see they're dismounting a few of the cavalrymen down there and that's nice, but they're not really getting many kills. Actually, I don't think, we've got, I don't think they've gotten a single kill this entire time so far, right as I say it. <laughs> there we go. My horse is actually getting really hit hard at the moment. There's a ranger. Just knocked out though, so it should be okay. Oh, shoot. Guys, back up a little bit. I don't want you to be pushing forward. You're gonna just die. Oh yeah, look at that. That's the only ca that's the only archer they've got left. I'm gonna tell my uh, cavalry to follow me and we'll quickly run over these archers. There's only four of them left. Ranger of Athelion. Come on, Ranger, there's literally like no archers left and you got killed. Okay, I believe most of our archers are out of ammo now, which is unfortunate. But such is life. And they're just really backing up. <laughs> yeah, look at that, all of our archers are out of ammo. Okay, well, um, infantry over here. I guess archers can go behind them, cavalry on that wing, and we're going to get ready for one glorious charge. But first, I'm going to empty my quiver quickly here, because I want to, again, get every advantage possible. And because they don't have any skirmishers left, I don't really have fear of getting knocked out, I don't think. I'm just going to try to pepper them with as many arrows as possible. Although they keep running away. I do not really want my archers, of course, on the front line. I would prefer them not to be on the front line. But they very well may have to end up charging into the fight anyway. Okay, what what is go what is going on with this battle? <laughs> Killing a few guys, getting a little bit of damage in in here and there. Trying to kill like I was at the shield, but his bow is not the greatest, and nor is my aim. <sighs> okay, everyone follow me. Not gonna charge quite yet, just wait half a second more. I want to, I don't want them to be on a hill, because that's gonna kind of nullify the actual charges from our cavalry, so I'm gonna let them continue to circle around. 
Oh my gosh, I cannot hit this guy. Please. Die. Die. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there we go, finally. Used pretty much every arrow I had. Okay, um... Getting a little close there, Rangers. But then again, I did tell everyone to follow me, so... It's my own fault. Okay. Uh, archers there. Infantry there. Cavalry right here. I'm gonna try to... I have one arrow. <laughs> Maybe we want to kill the banner bearer. Where, where is he? Oh yeah, I forgot Skang is in here. Oh shoot. Shoot. Just trying to, I'm just, I just told everyone to charge because they're charging at us now. Actually, I just realized I don't want our archers to charge. Unless they have to. So archers can sit here. We are losing men. Very good, that's to be expected. We may actually, we may, oh my goodness, I got knocked out. But we'll, we'll be able to win this, I think. We'll be able to win this. We're going to lose a bunch of troops, but we'll win this. I hope. Why is our infantry back there? What are they doing back there? They need to be in the fight. Our archers are getting, like, absolutely murdered right now. Ugh, this is not good. Well, we lost a bunch of troops, but as you can see, we are starting to be able to pull this back. And there goes a veteran squire. We need to pick up more squires, evidently. Uh, Skang is rallying his troops, but looks like we're going to end up winning still, so that's good. All's well that ends well, although we did lose a lot of troops. We lost archers, we lost rangers, we lost a lot of cav. Here's Skang himself. We lost another veteran squire. That swordsman will probably be upgraded to a veteran swordsman, though, because he, he knocked a lord out. I believe you get a lot of experience for that. Alright, good job, man. If I had actually had health, <laughs> I might have been of more help. Uh, yeah, we lost 10 guys just in that first engagement. I think we lost like 4 or something in the last one. 4 veteran squires all killed. What the hell, Cyrodiil? You're supposed to be preventing our troops from dying. 2 archers, 1 swordsman, 1 footman, 2 rangers. <sighs> Not nice. Not nice at all. But that's going to really help out our troops there. And yeah, three swordsmen again, two rangers, two veteran swordsmen, one veteran squire, but we lost all, we lost so many veteran squires. Veteran Knight of Delamron, three knights of Gondor, and now we're going to run away <laughs> very quickly. Prince Emil of Gondor was defeated in battle. He had 280 men. How did he, he must have run to the Corsairs or something. Um, I need some troops. Uh, we'll get all the nobles because we lost a ton of cav, and then we'll just take all the levies that we can. Um, and we do have some prisoners as well. 204, 204, 204, and 204. Um, do we have any scraps that we could sell? Just a few. And look at that nice Fountain Guard helmet. It looks kind of funny with the uh, <laughs> dull air mouth armor, but still. We got the heavy... Yeah, anyway. Um, we'll go back here. We'll go to the warehouse, pick up all the food. And I think that will be it for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please comment, like, and subscribe. If you did not, just tell me what I did wrong, and I'll be sure to fix it for the next one. In the next one, I'm pretty sure we are going to be defending West as good. However, that is for the next episode. So farewell wherever you fare, till your eyes receive you, at your journey's end.